everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Agency. If you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and like and notification so you never miss a brand new travel video from us. Today, we are going to tour for you the Grand Californian Resort here at Disneyland. We've actually been staying here for a few nights already. Today's our checkout day, but we're gonna move over to Paradise Pier and bring you another resort review video. Um, but we're super excited to share this resort that we've been seeing in the last few nights with you all and give you a complete room and resort tour. So we did stay in a standard view room here at Disney's Grand Californian Resort and it was really nice and we are going to bring that to you right now. Okay, well welcome to our room here at Disney's Grand California and we're super sad to be leaving. But right away when you come in the entryway, you do see some hooks here where you can hang bags, purses, anything you'd like from up here, jackets. And then right over to the right is a little luggage storage area if you should need, but also a connecting door to the room next door. So if you guys are traveling with a larger group, you can request to have connecting rooms. As we continue forward here and make a left, you are going to see the vanity area. So you do have two double sinks, which is nice. You have a nice lighted mirror that you can actually dim and put up as bright as you'd like to. <laughs> uh, you do have those fabulous Disney H2O products, as well as a laundry basket, a step stool for the kids, a hair dryer, and a trash can. Now, one thing I love that Disney does is this separate vanity and bathroom area so people can be getting ready here, and then also someone can be showering and getting ready for the day if they would like in this separate area here. The bathroom's really nice. It's got a rainfall shower, toilet, and some adorable Chippendale art as well as some hidden Mickeys on the wall. Really nice shower too. I did want to point out too, the bathroom does have this little lighted mirror should you need it for getting ready in the morning, which is always really nice. All right, looking back this way, we do have a coffee bar area, mini fridge, and a drawer with coffee for you, as well as an ice bucket, some glasses, and then the closet is really nice and large. It has a safe ironing board, hangers to hang up your clothes, extra pillow and blanket should you need it. Very nice. Plenty of room for everybody's stuff. As we move into the bedroom area, you are going to have two nice queen size beds. They were very com comfortable for us to sleep on the last few nights. And then if I move over this way, you have a desk, which has been great because I've had to work a little bit while we were on this trip, as well as a chest of drawers for you to put stuff away and a nice little couch. And of course, I have to have the resort TV up on the TV. Between the beds here, you do have a nice end table with a phone, your remote, a private dining menu here for you, an alarm clock with USB plugs, as well as plenty of USB plugs on the wall as well, which is nice. And again, little Chip and Dale up on the wall with their California oranges. It is so cute. Now, this couch over here is not a sleeper sofa, so I do want to make note of that. This room will only hold four people. They do have some nice artwork up on the wall. Again, all California themed. And we do also have a wonderful balcony. Now, with a standard view room, it's kind of random what view you get. We actually ended up with a pretty nice view. We have um, some beautiful trees out, and you can actually see a little bit of Disney's California adventure through the trees there as well, which is pretty cool. The balcony does also have a set of chairs to sit on. It's got a Jason out there who is waiting for me to finish my resort room tour here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so overall we really like this room so far. We are excited to move over to Paradise Pier 2, but before we do that, we do want to show you the rest of the resort. Uh, but again, please be sure to subscribe so you can see our other resort review videos when they come out. All right, so when you check in here, you are going to get a map from the front desk. Now, you can do a mobile check-in, but I still suggest going to the front desk so they can just make sure everything's good and you get this map to show you how to get everywhere. So we're in Disney's Grand Californian Resort and Spa, and it just shows you downtown Disney, how to get to the other hotels and things. Uh, we didn't pick this up till today, but it would have been very useful to have because we had no idea how to get anywhere. And now this map lays it out perfectly. 
but we are going to continue our resort tour and we are going to head to the Great Hall, which is the lobby area. And we're gonna start there and kind of walk you guys through the rest of the resort. Okay, everyone, welcome to the main lobby here. You're gonna have a gift shop. You're gonna have Hearth and Stone Lounge. You're gonna have your reservation and check-in list or desk. And then you are also going to have Bell Services. Now, Bell Services has been great because we are doing a split stay. They're actually moving our luggage from this resort over to Paradise Pier, which is nice. You just have to bring them your, your luggage in the morning and they take care of it for you. This lobby is just absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Wilderness Lodge at Walt Disney World, which we still have to review. But this is just very, very pretty. Of course, it's the Grand Californian. It is themed after the great national parks and state parks in this beautiful state of California. Over here across from the check-in desk is guest services. They'll be able to help with things such as dining reservations, explaining your tickets, Genie Plus, anything you should need before you start your Disneyland trip or even while you're here. They're absolutely great and Side note, these lines are usually a lot less crowded than the lines at the parks. All right, and this is the Hearth and Stone Lounge right here inside the main lobby. All right, Acorns Gifts and Goods is the souvenir shop here in the main lobby for the Grand Californian Resort. Very cute stuff in here. Let's go take a look. we are going to continue out of these double doors here and show you guys the wedding garden and the fitness center again here's that guest services i just showed you guys and we're heading right out all right well welcome inside the eureka fitness center here there's plenty of stuff they've got peloton bikes which is super nice they've got treadmills tons of lifting equipment medicine balls and the best part is they also have a water bottle filling station perfect for filling up your water bottles before you head out to the parks. So here is that water bottle filling station I was telling you about. Absolutely great, like I said, before you head out. And tons of equipment. As we walk out of the fitness center, we do see all of the pools here in the middle of the resort. We will show you guys those in a little bit, but the pools kind of take up the entire courtyard slash middle of the resort. So we'll definitely be showing you guys those. If we keep walking this way, you do run into some rooms over here. As you can see, these are rooms, as well as the Disney Vacation Club Center where you can learn about how you can stay magical year after year. All right, so I'm gonna head back towards the lobby because that's really it on the side of the resort. And we're gonna show you some more stuff. So it looks as though that fireplace I showed you guys on the inside of the main lobby is actually a double-sided fireplace, which is awesome because it connects out here outdoors how pretty is that i wish we would have known about this we would have come out here and sat sometimes this is nice it's so nice and warm because it's cold out here all right right outside the main lobby here you can obviously see the valet area or the check-in area where they take your bags and then you can head inside to check in for your magical stay okay so while we were outside of the valet area filming that a very nice cast member told us about some beautiful viewpoints from floors five and six of the main lobby. So we are heading up right now and we're gonna see what we find. Wow, we have some beautiful views of the lobby from up here on floor number five. This is just gorgeous. Wow, this must be what he was telling us about. Ooh, this is a nice area to come and relax as well. This is huge up here. Wow, this was what he was telling us we would get amazing views of the pools from up here. The pools open shortly, so we'll give you a full tour of those too, but this is a beautiful view of much of the resort right here. Wow, very, very pretty. You can even see the top of Guardians of the Galaxy in Grizzly Peak right there. All right, so we are going to continue going up another floor because apparently there's a really great viewpoint of Disney's California Adventure from there. Wow, after some winding hallways up on the sixth floor, we found the viewpoint they were talking about and I really wish we would have known about this sooner because this is beautiful. Check out what we're seeing right now. Ooh. 
We are basically looking right down on top of Goofy Sky School, which is so cool. And right over here is the Incredicoaster. Wow, this is awesome. Jump in Jellyfish, the California Zephyr Ride, the Ferris Wheel. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we've toured up here for a little bit. We're gonna head back down to the lobby and we're gonna show you guys the conference center area. There's not much going on there other than conference rooms, but it is the entrance to downtown Disney and the way you'll get to Disneyland. So I at least wanna show you guys that. Actually, from up top here, we can see our next hotel, the Paradise Pier which we will be going to very shortly. All right, so we are currently walking towards the conference center back here in the main lobby. And like I said, not much back here, but I do want to show you the sign that is going to take you over to downtown Disney and Disneyland. All right, so since the pools have opened, I think we are now going to head back out of the lobby and into the courtyard and show you guys the pools. All right, well, welcome to the pool area. It looks like they're doing an awesome board yoga activity today on the water. That is really neat. And let's continue exploring. There are plenty of lounge chairs and also some cabanas you can rent here by the pool areas. A little kid pool here as well as an awesome water slide that we're gonna go check out. They do have a spa over here, which would be very nice to use since it's a little chilly in the mornings here in January at Disneyland. But then when we go left, oh nice, they give us some water here and another cute little pool area. So tons of areas to relax here, swim, spas, kid pools, water slides, everything. This resort really has it all for the kids to enjoy. Now today is one of our rest days here at Disneyland, so we aren't going to a park today. We're just gonna relax and enjoy our few resorts. Oh, look at these cabanas. They have a TV and everything in them. That is very nice, wow. There is also another very tiny little slide over here for the little ones to go on, and it is really cute, so they're not left out. All right, so now that we've shown you guys a little bit of the pool area, I do wanna take you and show you the restaurants on Grand Californian property. They have the Storytellers Cafe, which is a character dining, the Napa Rose Lounge and full-on dining area, which is closed temporarily, but they are going to be reopening soon. That's more of a signature high-end dining restaurant. And then they also have the Grand Californian Craftsman Bar and Grill that we'll show you as well. All right, so right from the bar area here, we can see the Grand Californian a uh, bar here, the Craftsman Bar. So we'll take you guys over and explore that. All right, this is the Craftsman Bar area here. Like I said, right next to the pool. The pool is right over here. Uh, very, very good drinks. We had some drinks here on our first night and they were absolutely delicious. So I do highly recommend taking some time and checking out this little pool bar area. And they also do have plenty of other seating. I'm gonna show you the Craftsman Grill, which is right here behind the bar. It was a little bit hard to find. We didn't know where this was at first until somebody pointed it out to me, but you are going to hook a left. And right here, they're going to uh, sell your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is going to be more of a quick service style restaurant. And right in here, there we go. All right, so walking back by the pool, we are going to come across the Tanayan Stone Spa on our right. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to do a tour of this the other day. They walked us through the entire thing, told us about all their services, so I will put a little footage here of the spa for you all.
so over there is the spa that we just showed you all and then right here is going to be Disney's Grand Californian Hotel's own entrance to California Adventure Theme Park. This has been so incredibly convenient. We have absolutely loved it. It has just made it an absolute breeze to go in and out of the parks using this entrance here. And inside these doors here, we have the Napa Rose. Now, again, like I said, unfortunately this is closed. We weren't able to experience it, but it looks absolutely beautiful. And it was really convenient because right through these doors here was where we went to our room each day. All right, and finally, we are coming up on Storytellers Cafe. Now we actually do have a dining here on Friday. That's the day we depart Disneyland but we are really excited to show you all this. So again, be sure to hit that subscribe and like and ring that notification bell so you can see when we do a full complete review of Storytellers Cafe. Now you can also make reservations for here, but as we've been walking by each day, I've seen plenty of people just visit the hostess stand here and they get on a wait list because there seems to be plenty of tables available. Want us to plan your Disney or Universal trip for free? We're a fully licensed and certified travel agency to help you put together the perfect theme park itinerary. Head to our website, www.mainstreetandbeyondtravel.com to fill out your free travel requests today.